Hey guys! In this video we will talk about everything you need to know about 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. Let's do a full review of the interior updates, exterior design, features, and new technology. But before we start, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed, and activate the notification bell until you receive all of our videos. Let's go! The 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning full-size all-electric pickup is a thunderbolt that strikes at the heart of an industry hurtling toward adoption of electric cars. Ford brought back the Lightning name, first used in 1992 on a Performance F-150 that was the world's fastest production truck at the time. F-150 Lightning will roll off the line next year at a new high-tech factory using sustainable manufacturing practices at Ford's storied Rouge Complex in Dearborn just outside Detroit. The F-150 has been the best-selling truck for 44 years running, and Ford has tampered with it big time to produce the new electric Lightning. Ford used the name previously on its SVT-branded performance pickup discontinued after the 2004 model year. The F-150's combustion engine is replaced with batteries and electric motors, normally an insignificant, regulation-satisfying pivot in today's car market, but on a high-volume vehicle such as the F-150. It potentially represents a seismic shift, not just for Ford but also for the industry and its overall adoption of EVs. All this and more is backed by proven built Ford Tough F-Series durability and capability and the largest public charging network in North America. The commercial-oriented entry model starts at $39,974 MSRP before any federal or state tax credits, while the mid-series XLT model starts at $52,974 MSRP, offering additional comfort and technology. Ford sends a strong message that you don't need deep pockets to go electric. The Lightning does not replace the regular F-150. It instead expands the truck family with a smoother, more aerodynamic electric version with cool lighting and wheels. It comes only with the four-door Super Crew Cabin a 5.5-foot bed. The look is distinct, with traces of Mustang Mach-E, but remains instantly recognizable as an F-150. Ford leadership told the truck's designers it didn't want the 2022 Lightning to look like a science experiment. Why should a loyal pickup truck buyer consider the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning when it goes on sale in May 2022? Because it boasts few compromises but delivers various superlative features that might make the conventional truck look like an outright Luddite. Just as sudden as an actual lightning strike, the F-150 Lightning becomes the quickest and most powerful F-150 in the lineup. Ford estimates it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. The quickest Ford F-150 motor trend has tested was the previous generation off-road Raptor model, with a best time of 5.2 seconds. F-150 Lightning targets 563 horsepower, 775 pounds foot of near instantaneous torque, more than any F-150 ever, and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time in the mid 4 second range when equipped with an extended range battery, based on typical industry methodology. F-150 Lightning targets a maximum 2,000 pounds of payload in the standard range model with 18-inch wheels, and a maximum 10,000 pounds of available towing capacity on XLT and Lariat trucks with the extended range battery and max trailer tow package. F-150 Lightning boasts excellent off-road performance, with a 4x4 system featuring four selectable drive modes, normal, sport, off-road and tow slash haul. Rugged underbody protection keeps the battery safe with metal skid plates shielding both the battery and inboard motors from tough terrain. The battery itself is secured inside waterproof casing surrounded by crash absorption protection and has been tested at temperatures as extreme as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure lightning can perform when needed most. Another key point. The 2022 Ford Lightning becomes the first F-150 to get an independent rear suspension, necessary for packaging the rear motor, along with its corresponding benefits to ride and handling. The truck does not have air suspension. In other words, the Lightning not only goes electric but also addresses common complaints people have of most trucks, fuel economy, ride, and handling. How else does the Lightning differ from the standard F-150? Riding on a new EV platform, with the latest electrical architecture and fourth-generation electronics, the F-150 Lightning becomes the smartest and most connected truck in Ford's lineup, offering a new wealth of features and apps, along with a giant 15.5-inch touchscreen to access many of them. It also makes it easier to receive over-the-air software updates throughout its lifetime to address potential issues and to also update and add new features, such as better maps, 
seamless charging and payment, or enhanced Blue Cruise, Ford's hands-free highway driving assist system. Meet Ford's new skateboard, and battery. The 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning has been in the works for about three years, and it is the first vehicle on a new dedicated electric vehicle platform. The skateboard was designed from the ground up with a new frame positioning the battery pack between the rails, extending between the front and rear motors. There are no plans to add a third motor for performance. An exoskeleton, waterproof casing, and full-body metal skid plates protect the battery. Ford did not reveal the size of the Lightning's pouch-style lithium-ion battery packs. The high-energy density cells use a nickel-manganese cobalt cathode chemistry with particularly low cobalt load. They will come from the new SK Innovation battery planned in Georgia. For repairs, technicians will be able to remove suitcase-sized sections of the battery. Batteries are heavy, and the truck weighs about 6,500 pounds, roughly 1,000 more than the same truck with the 3.5-liter engine. The batteries alone weigh about 1,800 pounds, Ford officials told President Joe Biden during a tour of the Rouge Complex in Dearborn, Michigan, where the truck will be assembled, charging the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. All trucks come with a mobile charger that can either plug into a standard 240-volt outlet, which provides about 13 miles per charging hour at 32 amps, or into a regular 120-volt outlet to charge at 3 miles per hour. The new 80-amp home charger. Ford Charge Station Pro, is the better way to go, charging up 30 miles of range in an hour and getting the larger extended range battery from 15 to 100% charge in about 8 hours. At a DC fast charger, the extended range Lightning can gain 54 miles of range in 10 minutes and charge from 15 to 80% in about 41 minutes. The charge port is on the front driver's side of the vehicle, as opposed to the Hummer, which puts the port at the back of the truck on the assumption owners will back into the charger stations. The Lightning uses 400-volt charging, as compared with 800-volt charging for the Hummer. Ford has cobbled together a network of 63,000 charge plugs from assorted partners, and the number grows. On-screen apps help find available chargers and are supposed to show, in real time, if they are working and available. Customers can use the Ford Pass app to access them. Buyers will receive the first 250 kilowatts free, which should be good for about four full charges. The onboard intelligent range feature will figure out the best places to recharge, factoring in weather, traffic, payload, determined by onboard sensors, towing weights, your driving habits, and more, to adjust the range accordingly. Using the Ford Lightning to power just about everything. The truck can export up to 9.6 kilowatts of power, you can draw 2.4 kilowatts from outlets in the front and another 7.2 kilowatts from those in the bed. For comparison, you can offload 7.2 kilowatts, maximum, from the F-150 Hybrid. With Pro Power onboard, the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning can power tools at a worksite or toys at a campground or your house, for a time. The Lightning has 11 outlets for power, with four 120-volt outlets and one 240-volt outlet in the bed, and four more 120-volt outlets in the front. If you add USB ports, there are 21 outlets total, rivaling some apartments. If the battery level falls below a third of its full range, drivers will get a Ford Pass notification to decide whether to keep powering tools or preserve the energy for travel. The all-electric F-150 can be programmed to stop using Pro Power on board when the battery level approaches the distance to the next charge station. With the home integration system, if there is a power outage, you can also power your home for 3 days, 10 days if you ration, with 9.6 kilowatts of Ford Intelligent backup power. If the truck is plugged in at home, the automated system will recognize the power is out and pull juice from the truck, through the wall box, and into the inverter, which is tied to the home's central electrical system. When power is restored, the vehicle will resume charging. In the future, Ford Intelligent Power will allow you to charge your truck overnight when electricity is least expensive and send the power back into the house during high cost, peak energy hours to help keep overall costs down. Looks matter. Ford went with the most popular configuration for the Lightning, Super Crew, and it does not plan to add others. Lighting is key to the look. Light bars span the vehicles with front and back, making it look a bit more futuristic. Headlights and tail lamps have their own signature shape, and exterior zone lighting encircles the vehicle. The blacked out chrome grille, which matches the chrome on the belt line, is attached to the hood, the open as a unit to access the front. The wheels have an aerodynamic bevel design and come in 18, 20, 
and 22-inch sizes. The F-150 Lightning also sports a new, elongated, aerodynamic running board. Interior, tailgate, and box. The cab is largely the same as the conventional F-150, with a large exception, Ford redesigned the instrument panel to accommodate a 15.5-inch vertical touchscreen for Alarion and Platinum trims, similar to the one in the Mustang mach -E -V, with some modifications. It has a huge volume ring embedded in the screen at the bottom, quite a marvel, and it uses Ford's latest SYNC 4A infotainment system. Some of the materials and colors are also unique to the Lightning. The Lightning has the regular F-150's 180-degree reclining front seats for a nap and a console that flips over to create a workspace when the gear shift is folded out of the way. The tailgate opens the same way, and the work surface and bottle openers are intact, something customers wanted. The cargo box retains the same dimensions to ease the transition for past truck owners, who can easily transfer their accessories and tools to the new truck. More than 95% of accessories carry over from the traditional F-150 to the Lightning. Please repeat manufacturer's suggested retail price, MSRP, again. Perhaps the most startling Lightning feature is its starting price. As mentioned, the base work truck starts at $41,669 and is available for both retail and fleet customers. It is one of four trims, the others are the popular XLT, which starts at $54,669, Lariat, starting price forthcoming, and Platinum, about $90,000. Ford is taking reservations for the Lightning now, requiring a $100 deposit to get on the list. Officials won't say how many orders will constitute a sold-out first model year, but the company expects strong demand. About 2,300 of Ford's 3,000 U.S. dealers are certified to sell and service EVs, and the Lightning initially will only be available in North America. Proudly assembled in America, F-150 Lightning will make use of a new, state-of-the-art Rouge Electric Vehicle Center, which will also be a zero-waste to landfill site. Ford is investing $700 million into the historic Rouge complex, adding 500 new jobs and employing advanced sustainable manufacturing technology to build the truck as part of its commitment to becoming carbon neutral by 2050. Arriving in spring 2022, F-150 Lightning will be available in 4 series and 2 battery options at more than 2,300 F-certified Ford dealers across the country, with the option for fleet customers to access Ford's complete ecosystem of connected data and telematics services via Ford Commercial Solutions. After watching the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to let us know in the comments section below about how much you liked the video. Thank you for watching today's video. Anyway have a nice day and see you in the next video.